Welcome back to my channel Salvo. Today let's talk about diabetes and what it is. I see a lot of confusion about diabetes, about what is, what are the consequences of diabetes, what they are. Unfortunately, there are a lot of consequences because when you have a high level of sugar in the blood, it acts like the fat. So, make a lot of problem with the small capillary, get full and block the blood. What happened? Happened that you can have a neuropathy diabetic. It can happen. It can happen too that you can have a stroke. It can happen that you may be blind, so blindness, or lime amputation, because if the blood don't reach the point, because get blocked by the sugar, the other part get blocked. So you need to cut. Usually, the feet. I saw a lot of diabetic people without feet, or without leg, because after get infection and so on. So what diabetic is? In the world we have two kinds of diabetics. Type one, in my case, that we need this insulin. Type two, that they take pills. And that pills make the difference because they reject the insulin they own cell produce. So with the pills, they can absorb the insulin and they can work some ways Someone tell that they can get healthy. I'm not sure about this. I'm not talking about diabetes type one, type two, but only about my case, diabetes type one. So how does it work? In the normal people, pancreas is around this area. I eat chocolate. Chocolate go in, go in the blood, and run. Pancreas is is full of blood. So when the blood pass by, the pancreas C and release insulin for what the sugar need, what the blood need. So if I have a value about 200 of sugar, the pancreas know that it has to release, for example, 10 units of insulin, so the blood with the sugar will go down, not the blood, but the sugar. So all will be perfect. But in my case, no, because my pancreas don't work. The, the small part of pancreas that produce insulin Langeras Islands to produce insulin, so I must do inject and put inside my blood this liquid. <clears throat> so, for example, if I eat 10, I must introduce 5. If I eat 20, I must introduce 10. What makes it complicated is that if I have to work or not, I use or I don't use the sugar that is in the blood. So my level sugar go up and down, up and down. If I work or not, if this is enough or not, and this is enough or not. Why we don't have to eat chocolate usually? Because this kind of sugar go up faster and down faster. If you don't have insulin, go up. If you have insulin, go a bit up, but don't too much. So. Technically, for every stuff I put inside my mouth, I need to inject. This is why there is the micro infusion. It's a kind of machine that I put inside my skin and release every hour a certain amount of insulin. So when I have the lunch, the breakfast, the lunch and the dinner, I know it. I program it with more insulin to cover what I eat. And after, if I want to take a cappuccino, I just release a bit more. It's already in solvent. And my level of glucose stay pair. I don't have one up and down, up and down, and up and down. Because, for example, I do my lunch. Okay? I get my pasta, I get my meat, I get my veggies. And I know that for that, there is a calculation about the carbohydrate I have to take. I get... For example, just, uh, just one example, let's say 10 units of this, or let's say 20, okay, let's get 20 for what I eat. And this is perfect. Cover, in the right timing, my level of sugar stay there. What happens if after I get a cappuccino with sugar? And then my sugar will go up. Then I need to add another injection. And what else 
after two hours another cappuccino because today I want to take cappuccino a lot. And then more high, so I need to make another injection. This is why micro infusion, the machine that I have under my skin or somewhere else in the body, that release every hour, every minute, I don't know, does it work perfectly because I never use it. I used to make injection every time I put something in my mouth and it's not really nice. Uh, it's a bit tricky. <clears throat> tricky. The micro, you want to take a cappuccino, you know that cappuccino has certain amount of carbohydrate, so you know that you need certain amount of in it, of insulin, you give it solved. That's why. There are two kinds of school of diabetes. Old school that say, okay, you have to do, for example, 50 units a day. You divide the 50 units in breakfast, lunch, dinner, and supper. <laughs> After dinner, of course, the, the longest insulin. That name is, may, can be Tresiba or other names. This is Fiasp, it's the fastest. Okay. And for that amount of units of insulin, you have to eat X carbohydrates, no more, no less, about. Sometimes you go down the same, sometimes you go high the same, if you don't move or if you move too much. This is the old school. Today is not like that. I listen to some people telling, oh, no, 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 less insulin, better life. No, it's not like that. Because <clears throat> the insulin is DNA compatible, is not a medicine, don't kill you. So if you take 10 units or 20 units, nothing change. The only stuff that change is that the sugar go up and down, if you increase or decrease. That's all. You don't have secondary effect for the insulin. But be careful, if you take too much insulin, you may die because the insulin go down and chow chow. That's, that's, that's it. If you take not too much, not enough insulin, your sugar will drop up and you may die the same. So you need a doctor, diabetolog, a scientist that tell you for your kind of life, you need to eat this and you need to inject this and this. And by the way, practicing with the diabetic, you are able to understand, okay, I eat this, there are manuals, books, for this carbohydrate you get this, for this you get this, and you can arrange the amount of insulin you need. So it's not like before that you have top insulin and about this you eat. No, it's not like that. Today, if you want a cappuccino extra, you add insulin extra. Solve it. It's not like before. This don't kill you. This save your life. You need this if you're type 1. So don't ask people that start telling you, oh, no, no, you must be vegan, you must be this, you must do that, and you get healthy. No, type 1 will never get healthy, unfortunately. We, Big Pharma is very happy to produce this for us, forever. They will never cure us once, no, because they need that we take this, we buy this, or our government for us, because in Italy this is provided by the government. I don't pay for it. I don't pay for the doctor as well. What I'm trying to say is that <clears throat> today there are people that still think that you must to eat looking what is the amount of insulin you use. No, it's not like that. You eat, of course, you don't have to eat a lot and it's better to avoid too much sugars. But in um, about what you eat, you introduce. So I have my lunch. After two hours, I want to enjoy a cappuccino, one minute or whatever I want. I introduce insulin for that amount of carbohydrates I introduce. Fat, proteins, or what else it is. That is the secret of diabetes today. Is to keep the sugar level per. No up, no down. Down is dangerous, up is dangerous. Between 80 and 160, 180 is, is okay. For to do this and to avoid to have problem, if you have the big infusion here or whatever you, you have the machine, you must to cal calculate the carbohydrates. Once you know that for a cappuccino with a spoon of sugar, you need, for example, five units, tac, 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 five units, 
it will be released automatically. After 20 minutes, 30 minutes will start to work. The sugar will be inside after 20 minutes around. So it will be go a bit up and then down and then will be almost bare. And this is perfect. This video is done for explain diabetic people like me that the old school, the old school is dead. There's no more reason to, to stay there. The old school is chow chow, it's forget, forgive it, it doesn't exist anymore. So if you want to eat something, do it, do it. Even if it's 200, your sugar, okay. Take injection, wait 20 minutes when it's going down, you introduce, you know that after 20, min 20 minutes, the simple sugar will work. If you eat chocolate, of course, it's not 20 minutes, it's about 40 minutes, 50 minutes before that work. Any food has a different timing to work. Bread is very long work time. Maybe take one hour or more. And that's it. You adjust, take your insulin that you need. Are you hungry? You want to eat? Do it. Adjust the insulin. Of course, it's not normal that you go to McDonald's and take five menu alone for lunch. There are limitations for any kind of people. This is not about diabetic, but this is about a normal kind of life. Eat your food you want, check it or you became extra, extra, extra large and it's not very healthy. Are you seeing me? You, keep, you must to keep a certain kind of life. And <clears throat> of course, I'm diabetic. And as you see, I eat because I don't care. Because I know that I can make my insulin anytime I, anytime I want. Salute. It's all calculated. So remember, be really careful. Sugar never go up. Never go down, it's very, very dangerous when go too much fast and down. We must keep it under control. How? Sensor. Sensor under the skin. You put your phone, your reader. This is my situation. I have 80. It's going up, it's going down. It's not going anywhere. Okay. What I want to eat? I want to eat this. How much I want to eat? One entire, 100 grams, just a piece. Okay, I know that will go up, for example, 50. To make it where I need half unit, micro infusion, half unit. Let's go. Let's do it. It's all bad. And you can eat your little piece of chocolate. If it's going down, you close, no more insulin, a glass of coke, solved. Of course, the doctor will tell you exactly how to do it in the beginning, because we are not doctors, so we need the help and the support of professionist people. In the time, you will understand how to do it by yourself making your own, cal own, own calculation, so I'm finished to it, making your own cal calculation, understanding that for this food that work in this timing, you need this insulin in this time, the micro infusion, it's perfect. I'm going to ask to, to try it and to get it because almost all the people with diabetes type one has it, have it, sorry for my fucking English, uh, for my English. <clears throat> for now on, and since long time ago, I'm making one injection every time I put something in my mouth. Sweet, not sweet, bread, cake, is the same what I eat, meat, fat, fries, is the same what I eat, injection every time. It's really, really annoying for me. But it's the only way to keep the sugar pair. It's complicated, it's really complicated, but it's possible. So need just to study about the calculation of carbohydrates, about the timing of how does it work, what you eat, what you eat, 
about the insulin when it's the max level of work and when work less. There are different kinds of insulin, of course, and the only one person that can help you is the doctor. So they go to the doctor and make a lot of questions. The doctor will reply you because it's a professional person that knows anything about diabetes. Not all, but if I make 10 units of this, now at 12, what happened? And the doctor will explain you what happened this, after 20 minutes this, after 30 minutes this, after one hour this. And if I eat bread, only bread, what happened? If you eat only bread, it will happen this, this, this. Okay, doctor, if I drink a glass of Coke, what will happen? If you drink a glass of water, it will happen this, this, this. And ask anything to your doctor because he's the only one person that know anything and can give you all the answer you want. Every, any, any information is available online and the doctor knows his study for it and can reply to you because, of course, he has to reply to us. And this is what we do. <clears throat> and that's all for now. I finish my chocolate. Oh, fun. long video. Great. By the way, be careful. Diabetes is very dangerous. Remember, diabetes neuropathy, strokes, blindness, Lyme mutations, and other kind of problem, kidney problem, and so on. I already have my retinopathy diabetic. I don't know if the name is, the name is correct. It's a bit, as they say in the Philips, Ainako. That is okay. That's fine. Hi, guys. Remember, be really careful. Talk to the doctor anytime. Learn by your own using the doctor. And leave, leave. The insulin don't kill you. We need insulin. And if you eat a bit more, put a bit more. Of course, not just for the feeling you have, oh, maybe let's do 20, just for feeling. No, no, 20 can kill you. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Don't put insulin just for feeling. No, because 100 of this mean thought of this. No more, no less. It's mathematical. The normal people eat pancreas produce. As we eat, we inject. That's all. Very easy. As the doctor, confirmation all must be perfect. Ciao ragazzi. Put a like on video and subscribe. Ciao ciao.